So in this video, we're going to go through the final step, which is creating the external content type from the, um, the SQL database. And that database is connected to the linked server, and the linked server is connected to the Oracle database. So first thing we're going to do is go to the SharePoint um, Central Administration, and we'll look at the secure store service ID that I've created. Um, I just called it um, Oracle, and um, I gave it uh, the credentials of this one account, um, and that account has um, access to the database. So if I go in and I show it to you, the account name is ORA Admin. And when you look at the user mapping, you see that it has access to the database. So that's the account that I'm going to use. So now I'm going to go back into um, um, my desktop and go into SharePoint Designer, access the site, click on external content types, and I'm going to add the content type. Let's call it as Oracle Books. Click here, create the connection. Connection is of type SQL Server. The database is my SQL, the database server is my SQL server. And we know that the database name is called as Oracle Books. I'm gonna use the impersonated Windows ID using the secure store service ID and the ID was just called as Oracle. And so the connection has been made and we have um, the connection made. So let's go ahead and set up um, the view over here and make the um, external content type. The, the data that's coming in is not very big, so I'm not going to focus too much on parameters to filter the data size. Uh, I'm just going to go with the um, basic settings. So it looks like I have the external content type made. Let me go ahead and save it. And so I have it saved. So now let me go back to my site and build the external list. Also, I'm going to call it as Oracle Books. And now in the external content type, I should see Oracle Books. Create. It's there. Let's click on it. So it looks like it's going to get the data, and here it is. So this now has this external list that is coming from the Oracle database. Um, so in this scenario, we've gone through now successfully to create the connections from um, an Oracle database table and pulled it as a list on SharePoint. Um, hope this article helps you.